YouTube, what's going on? This preacher. So, <clears throat> let's talk about the truck. And then the next video is going to be about the young <coughs> uh, West Motor Freak. So, I have a 99 Sterling with a Cummins N14 Select Plus in it. I bought the truck for $6,400. Yeah, y'all heard it right. $6,400. When I bought the truck, it had 449,000 miles on it. Did a thorough inspection of the engine and the transmission, trying to make sure that it is solid. So, uh, quick side note. When you're buying these trucks, it doesn't matter if it's straight brand new. You seen little guy had a brand spanking new truck. And it was in the shop for like a month and a half, two months. He ain't make no money. They made a GoFundMe account with him. You seen uh, like Daniel McCarthy bought another truck, used truck, dyno it the whole nine yards. Engine blew up within like two weeks of him having the truck. All right, so you can't be like, if I get a new truck, I ain't going to have no problems. Yeah, you still have some problems, depending on on your truck, okay? It's it's a gamble. This is what you're doing out here inside this trucking, okay? It's a gamble. Now, I'd rather gamble with in a game that I know. So if I know the engine, and I know the transmission, and I know that I could do a lot of stuff with it myself, I'd rather gamble with that compared to gambling with anything. But I was going to get a brand spanking new truck. I was. I was going to get a brand spanking new truck. All right. Um, they had back ordered and they was behind on, on, on everything. And I just couldn't wait. I waited two months. After that, I was like, you know what? Let me um, see if I can get something at the auction. And I found this on Facebook Market. Okay, and I just did my due diligence on the engine and transmission. And I knew with a 99 that it's going to be some issues. And this truck set for a good year. I knew it was going to be some issues, but I didn't want the issues to be anything big of the engine and the transmission or, or, or you know, the back end and stuff like that. Or your rears and stuff. I didn't want that. I'd rather deal with some little issues, some hoses, uh, so wires, I'd rather deal with that than deal with something real, real big that puts you down like for weeks at a time. All right, so I paid 6400 I put about $3,200 into it before I got started. All right, so that made, I got started with West Motor in the middle of November, November the 14th or 15th, something like that, that I got started. So at that time, I had about $9,600 into this in truck when I started with West Motor. And like I said, it was like November the 14th or 15th or something like that. Then I did power only, basically for the rest of that month to the last week. I finally got my trailer like after uh, Thanksgiving when I finally got the trailer. All the deductions only comes up to about $400, and that's including the trailer rental. Actually, it's less than that, but I got the accidental insurance. But it is um, less than that. So I, I had got that, right? Since I had the truck, I didn't put in, uh, after this most recent breakdown now, I didn't put in about $3,100 into this truck to keep this truck rocket since it's been running. And the most expensive thing was the uh, fuel pump itself, which was like $1,000 for the fuel pump. And everything else being like little minor stuff. And then tires. Tires was been the biggest expense since I got this truck. I didn't put like $1,800 in tires on this truck since I've been um, rolling and stuff. So that's most of the $3,000. The thirty, uh, $3,100, $3,200. Like 18 of, of it is, was tires. Another 1000 was the fuel pump and then the regular maintenance of it. Okay? 
So, since I started November the 15th until now, all right, I then grossed about $2,900. Not $2,900, $29,000 I grossed since I've been in, in business. So I, so I did made my money back of all the money that I didn't put inside this intro and the money that I actually am putting inside this truck. All right, right now my business is averaging about $4,500 a month profit. That's what my business is. I pay myself um, $1,150 a week. So that comes out all the business expense. So all the money that I didn't put inside this intro and I, that I'm paying myself my business is averaging $4,500 profit so far, okay? So that's where I am year to date. Here it is, January the 21st, 21. Business is averaging $4,500 a month. So I'm in the plus, okay? Like I said, I'm home <clears throat> five nights a week. <coughs> All Saturdays and Sundays. Now, I did not plan on getting a cash truck. I know this big thing about cash trucks and stuff going on. I, I don't care nothing about that. I, I, I really don't. It's great entertainment. I watch it because it's great entertainment. Okay? But do I care about it? No, I don't. Because no, nobody is running my business but me. Nobody's making uh, business decisions for the, my business but me. Okay, so I don't care. It's great entertainment. I'm watching. Like I tell people, this is not a trucking channel that I got. This is just a personal vlog that I'm just sharing with everybody. And if y'all can learn something from what I'm doing, okay. If I can help you from this back experience that I have, if you got to look at the, all the videos from when I first started with Warner until now, I do it. If, if that's my goal to help people, no, that's not my goal. It's, it's really not. This is entertainment for other people, informative entertainment for some people. And if I can help people throughout my experience and things that I've been through, I'm just a kind guy like that. And that's what I would do. Okay? That's that's all this channel is right here. That's all this channel. I ain't trying to be a motivator to other people. If I motivate you from what I'm doing, hey, but that's fine. It's just a vlog about what I'm doing and what I'm going through in my personal experience. That's all this is. All right? That's all it, it, it really is and things like that. So, that's how I got inside the truck and why I chose West Motor because they took older trucks. They don't know more. We'll get inside that in the next video. But because I had a 99, I was trying to choose a place where I could sign on my truck with a... Um, older truck that I had and that it left me money in case something goes wrong I have some money to uh, back me up with some stuff okay plus I got peoples my brother Jerome, uh, um I had an issue in a Palm Beach he had uh, reached into his pocket and he had helped me up because my, uh, my fuel cards had some um, issues and he had gave me enough money to fill up my tanks and everything like that. So, yeah, you know, I, I had some people that was um, helping me out when I first started. Sometimes you're going to need that. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to need that. But that's how I ended up with the uh, 99 Sterling that I have right now. Like I said, I haven't had any engine or transmission problems at all whatsoever. All my stuff been little, little stuff. And when people been trying to um, just charge you for stuff and they just guessing about what's going on, they don't even really know what's going on, but they just sitting around here guessing, you know, it just, it just crazy with stuff. And, and then, you know, this here, like that conversation last night. I don't know if y'all was hearing all this stuff about about uh, you know, Josh with these other dudes. 
and stuff like that. But yeah, that 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 that, that had me dying laughing. But that's what a lot of people, you know, don't realize. First thing, cause you got an older truck. First thing people be be like, well, well, you should get a newer truck, man. You're gonna have problems with whatever truck that you have. Dirty broke even said you he had a new truck and he had air leaks. All right. So if he had air leaks on a new truck and he still got the air leaks on his new truck, I got a 99. So me experiencing these air leaks, you know, for me, they ain't nothing. You know, if a new truck got air leaks and he still got air leaks, they trying to figure out on, on his new truck where the air leaks coming from. Okay, I got a 99. So yeah, I'm going to have a little air leaks. Here and there, but I've been changing my fittings here and there. You know, that's what I uh, that's what I've been doing. You know, changing out. Okay, that fitting yesterday that makes like number thirteen, and that was on my passenger side, and so I still got to go back with the, all my airlines and the air fittings on my, my passenger side of my truck because I was taking care of the ones on the driver's side. And I'm just doing a little bit by little bit. You know, so... I ain't trying to debate nobody. It's, it's great entertainment when they doing all this stuff with these uh, trucks, about the old trucks and stuff. I ain't trying to debate nobody. Hey, man, y'all want to talk about all that? And y'all want to run y'all business based off of uh, what other people think? Y'all go around right on here. All right, but I know what's best for my business because I'm running my business. You know what I'm saying? I'm running my business. So of course, I'm, I'm going to do what's best for my business. That's, that's what I'm going to do. But that's why I got Karen, okay? Yeah, I named her Karen. She white. White truck, it's our name to care. You know what I'm saying? She act up every once in a while, but hey, you know, it is what it is, kind of thing with, with, with me. It is what it is. Yeah, I was talking with y'all there. Talking with y'all there back in inside of my uh, place here. Yeah? So. I'm at my whew, I'm at my uh, direct shipper the contract that I got picking up these uh, wood shavings it's for horses horse bedding and stuff like this you know what the horses use I guess they um it's for the poop and, and the piss all those other kind of good stuff I don't care what it is I make 18 50 for 600 miles on this load so like they say even so yeah, January, February, and March stuff slow down. It, it don't slow down for me because I have my contract. So I'm gonna make this no matter what. Each load. If I can do three in a week, I do three in a week. You know, but I just do two in a week. I do three, uh, two in a week, so I can be home Saturdays and Sundays, and I'm, I can be home Friday. So after I do this delivery tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, I'm done for the week. Now, if I want to make more 
them my little uh, $5,100 a week, I'll pick up another load. You know, if I pick up another load, then I'm at 60, what, 69, like 69.50 for the week, something like that, if I want to do uh, three loads in a week. But if I do three loads in a week, then I'm not getting home until like Saturday afternoon. So if I want to work on Saturday, I could pick up a third load. Well, I could pick up two to three loads a week. You know, I could easily do that and do it if if I want to work like that. You know, but if I work like that, then my miles go to like thirty three hundred in a week instead of twenty seven hundred in a week. You know, but even with thirty three hundred miles. In the week, there's like 33, 28, something like that. Even with that, to bring home like 6,900, it's still all right. And then even with that, I still would be home Saturday, sometime on Saturday, and still have enough time to do a reset and start all back over again, you know, if I was going to do it like that. But I, um, I did it during Christmas for two weeks because it was Christmas time. I wanted to spend some money to make sure, you know, my kids and stuff had a good Christmas. But that's the only only two times uh, that I did it, and I worked like that. Any other time, like Friday, last Friday, I was done at home by 10 o'clock in the morning. And I was home for the rest of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, left Sunday, uh, Monday about 12 o'clock, you know. So that's one good thing about becoming a uh, owner up. And like I said, this contract um, that I got, I just find another two loads to get me back up here to get this here stuff, and I'm fine. You know, I have, I'm trying to develop, well, I, I actually have with uh, with Gary, uh, with, with this other broker that gets me a load getting up here. Uh, for about 750, 800 bucks. Uh, we got down to 750 now, just so I can have that load every Monday to um, start me off, get me up here uh, for 750 bucks. So then I just find one more load throughout the course of the week. Like on Wednesday, I found, found me a load paying 750 again, get me back up here again to get this in load for today, which is Thursday. So. That's what happens. But that's how I got the truck, okay? There you go. That's how I got Karen, the 99 Sterling with a um, Cummins N14 Select Plus in it. And that's how much money I didn't spend on it so far. Like I said, I didn't got my money back. <laughs> so it's no loss to me. Um, broke down twice, actually on the road to where that uh, uh, earlier uh, this week, um, I was at, at the Love, so I had the Love guy come out and everything like that. So, but like I said, at the end of the day, the parts was like $18 uh, for the parts. And in labor, I spent $200 in labor. So it came up to 200, basically 220 bucks to um, get the truck fixed and ready to go. And then the last time I fixed it myself, and to fix it cost me two bucks to fix the truck uh, myself. And then when I, the part came in, I put the part on and the part itself cost $38 to fix it before. So, and then the air governor, uh, the boat, and that was 68 cents. And I fixed that myself too. So that's how it is. Oh, oh thank you ma'am. Yeah, so that's all it is. See, she came, gave me paperwork. They already know me here. That's one good thing about everything. So yeah, uh, that's how I got the Sterling. Now I, I'm, I am getting an, another truck. I am, but you know, I'm trying. I'm trying to wait. This contract uh, that I have is is to me. So. Um, in May, that's when I'm going to look at getting the other truck. But until then, I'm still going to be working on this truck, make sure that it's right for the driver that 
I'm going to be putting inside of this truck. And by then, I should have all new fittings, um, uh, the exhaust. I'm going to get another uh, exhaust pipe and bellows uh, in, inside. And I got two more tires that are, they are real good, but they are recapped. So I'm trying to take those tires off. So I'm going to get two more tires that are not uh, recaps on the truck. And then a, uh, a new dash for the truck, you know. So I'm trying to make sure everything's straight. Yeah, I got air conditioning, all that other kind of good stuff up in it. It is a nine speed, things like that. So. I didn't got all the new air fittings on the um, transmission as well on that. And then uh, in February, it's going to be time for overhead, new rods and mains and stuff like that for the engine. So get some uh, regular engine maintenance on the truck. Ugh. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some uh, regular in engine maintenance and stuff done on the truck. So I got 407, 470 miles, thousand miles on it right now. So, so yeah, that's how I got. <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm, I'm getting over the COVID. Uh, but that's how I got this truck. It wasn't the original plan, but after I waited two months on the new truck, then they told me it was going to be another two months on the new truck. I'm like, man, I just can't be out of work for that long. And at that point, I was already out of work for um, two months since I had worked at Warner. Okay, uh, right before Labor Day, was my last day working, like September the 5th. And then, like I said, when the guy called me and told me it was gonna be another two months on this, it was like November the 4th. So then that's when I got online and started trying to uh, find a truck, cause I was already out of work for two months then. And when you're still paying bills, my bills come up to about $2,900 total for all my bills for the month. And I'm just paying that for two months, I already kicked almost seven thousand dollars. Well, six thousand dollars. No, it still was about seven thousand dollars because we was eating out and stuff like that. Too. But it was still about seven thousand dollars. I already had kicked out. You know what I'm saying? And I don't got no money coming in, and I already kicked out seven thousand dollars. So I was like, no, I'm not finna wait. I finna go ahead and just get me a truck. So I just decided to get this truck because I was gonna get a day cab anyway to do local work. And I was gonna put a driver in it. So I'm like, okay, well, well, let me just go ahead and get the day cab now. And I wait on the new truck. But then it's supposed to have been ready in December, right? Then the guy called me in December and told me, yeah, give him another month. And then he told me that like before Christmas. So that's why I'm at. At this point, I'm done with the dealership trying to get this new truck for this particular dealership okay so uh, i'm just i'm uh, i'm done with that part of, of it now i'm gonna go through another avenue and get uh a truck a, fi a final truck but i got a, a great mechanic we, we got a great relationship i actually got two you know i actually got three really but uh the two that i got the one he is a um, coming specialist as, as well, um, he's coming trained at that from the actual Cummins um, factory, everything went to school, the whole nine yards. So that's where we ate with the truck. That's and that's how I found West Motor. I found West Motor uh, for the truck that I had because some places <coughs> I couldn't take the truck. So. That's how I got on with this truck. All right, I'll talk to y'all later.